Hi Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you that are cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see uh, why is it that your person walked away, okay? So why is it that the connection has come to an end here? Why did they turn um, their back on you and walk away from this connection? What is it that you need to know about their departure and them leaving you? It is going to be a general reading, so please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will be listing my email address just below the video here. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and take a look and see why is it that your person here has walked away. bottom of the deck you have the eight of swords here and that's interesting here you do have a fair bit of swords energy here which may which has made an appearance in your spread and swords are well they can be used for both good and bad uh, but in this instance I feel like there's a certain amount of weight okay or there's this still you can maybe still feel their presence even though they may have left you and they may have walked away you can still feel like the two of you are energetically attached and you're still very much you know there's an emotion emotional or a mental thread that sort of connects the both of you together here um, there's a lot of pain since they've left they may have caused you a lot of pain i feel like this relationship or this connection was a little bit one-sided here with the ten of wands i feel like someone here was giving so much of themselves okay they were investing a lot of their time their energy perhaps even their resources into this connection but they sadly didn't feel like they were getting the same in return okay could be you could be how your person may have felt though i'm leaning towards you feeling more so this way you feeling as though you were the one who made the compromises and the sacrifices in the relationship and if you had you know if you had your choice you would have still want wanted them to stay but it just didn't feel very balanced. And, and I feel like if you look back at, you know, back on things and back on your situation, you would see that a lot of the times you were constantly over applying and overextending yourself. You were the one who was over committing in this relationship or connection rather. And this was simply to overcompensate for your person and their lack of efforts here. Okay, their lack of efforts and their lack of energy here. The Queen of Swords, I feel like your person wasn't very honest, okay? So for some of you, maybe this is someone who's ghosted you or someone who's pulled away. And they did this because they were avoid, avoiding really being honest and transparent with you. Because at the end of the day, if they did have this talk or this conversation with you as to why they no longer can, you know, um, pursue you romantically or why they can't do this relationship anymore, um, or why they just, you know, suddenly decided to just leave abruptly i feel like it was their way of avoiding having that conversation with you having that uncomfortable conversation in which they would be forced to confront some of their pain and some of their issues here so it wasn't so much that they wanted to leave and walk away from you i feel like it was more so that this person had their own issues their own internal issues their blockages here, emotional, mental, physical, here, that were unfortunately hindering not only this connection, but also hindering their growth here. And because they were unable to confront and deal with some of those anxieties, some issues, some insecurities here of their own, unfortunately, this person may have projected some of these issues onto the connection here. But also, I feel like this was someone who was carrying a lot of pain, okay? Because this 
Ten of Wands gives me this impression that someone he felt as though, you know, they were doing all the work or they were carrying such a heavy and burdensome load. And it could also relate to your person's energy. Maybe they were carrying a lot of emotional trauma, a lot of tra childhood trauma from, you know, something that might have stemmed from um, their earlier days, childhood days. Perhaps it stemmed from previous romantic or, you know, relationship or even parental connections here but I feel like this is something they've never really confronted head-on they've never really dealt with it they've never healed it because I felt healed it sorry I feel like this is someone who refused to accept that they have certain insecurities or they have certain pain or trauma or blockages in their energy I feel like they rather go around pretending it you know it doesn't exist or they rather go around suppressing it because that would then mean they get to avoid it. They don't have to deal with it, right? So in a way, I feel like them walking away from you was because had they stayed, had they stayed in this connection here, they would have been forced to confront some of this insecurities, some of their insecurities, some of their, you know, emotional and internal pain and conflict and turmoil that they're feeling here. I feel like your person here has a lot of growth and a lot of inner work that needs to be uh, done now for some of you I did mention that with the Queen of Swords energy they upon them leaving they never really explained themselves to you which might have resulted in them like quickly and very abruptly pulling away from the connection or perhaps ghosting you for others I feel like your person wanted to have a conversation with you they wanted to tell you what they're going through but they just they weren't able to put it into words because I feel like Maybe they weren't ready themselves to confront so much of what's going on with the, the, um, their energy. I do feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, there was a lot of complexities. There was a lot of um, intricacies here. May have been even a lot of differences. I feel like there was a lot of layers to your person or a lot of layers to this connection. It wasn't so simple. It wasn't so black and white. There were a lot of areas of grey here. I just feel like there were so many complexities here. And I feel like a lot, of it, a lot of these complexities were internal here. Okay, the Eight of Swords, you know, someone here is choosing to stay in this Prison of Swords here. Is you know, their mental attitude, their belief here. This is them wanting to... Because in a way, even though a Prison of Swords doesn't sound all that comfortable, does it? To them, it's familiar. And I feel like to your person's... And like, to your person here, pain is familiarity pain is a normality maybe they grew up in a very you know unstable or very painful environment maybe they've had a lot of previous relationships or romantic connections that were very painful and that were very heartbreaking maybe this is someone who ha was conditioned or programmed to believe from a very early young age or young adulthood here that you know in order to have relationships they have to be toxic there has to be a level of toxicity now we all know that isn't true but if someone is conditioned or programmed to believe that you know then th that that's what they uphold that's what they sincerely believe and I feel like for your person it feels as though they may engage in self-sabotaging behavior okay in behavior that je jeopardizes what potentially could have maybe been a very healthy or happy relationship but it's that pain that has stopped this person from fully opening themselves up to you and exploring this connection here there may have also been choices around this person maybe this person <clears throat> just didn't necessarily see themselves having a future with you or they didn't necessarily see themselves being that ideal partner that you wanted they didn't necessarily see themselves you know fulfilling your expectations and your um intentions for this connection here there may have been someone else though maybe your person walked away because in the end they chose someone else over you they didn't choose you here someone who i feel like maybe was a past energy for them so someone from the past could have been an ex I just feel like someone here wasn't necessarily seeing the situation clearly. Maybe this person didn't see you in their future or they didn't see themselves fitting into your future here. There may have been a position here from family members or connecting energies or friends. Maybe that's what I'm picking up. Or maybe they just were scared here to move forward because you've got the blindfolds twice, right? 
maybe they were very scared they have a non-committal type of energy they were really scared to sort of you know um push aside their fears their anxieties and insecurities and you know dive into the depths of this connection it was just i feel like there was some fears that i'm picking up in the energy that really paralyzed them moving forward here so they may have had a lot of unhealthy relationships and they just didn't want to do it again they may just be scared here of commitment afraid five of cups i do still feel like your person i don't know if it's you or your person feels like all is not lost like there may still be hope and look you never know i feel like with your person's energy i feel like it was more the fee that kind of immobilized them you know that prevent in, in a way right it, it kind of prevented them from moving forward here now if they were to do some inner work here if they were to peel back some of these layers here and really you know work on themselves and confront this pain that i feel like your person might come back and the two of you might you know could potentially have a healthy relationship but for that to happen it would mean that they would need to work on themselves here and i just feel like with your person's energy even if you guys aren't communicating, aren't talking right now, I do not see them taking any action towards improving themselves. I do not see them working on themselves. I still see them running away from whatever it is that they feel like they're being chased by here. So no, I don't see them, you know, working on themselves. I don't see them doing inner work, at least at this point in time. That's not to say that tomorrow, the week after, the month after that, it might be different. At this particular point in time when the reading is being done, it just feels like your person is kind of indulging in a bit of a pity narrative. They're kind of feeling sorry for themselves they're kind of playing you know the victim mentality why them why did it happen to them you know why this or why that i just don't feel like they're working through things in a healthy manner i just feel like they're kind of sitting around feeling sorry for themselves here i do feel like this your person here was destined to come into your life i mean you know the very people you connect paths with cross paths with are not random so i do feel like there were some lessons here that could be learned. Maybe you discovered some things about yourself that you never really knew or just about other people. But I do feel like there was a reason why this person was meant to, you know, come into your path here. I don't necessarily see any growth here in their in their energy or your journey right now. Just feel like I don't know that they're contact they're not contacting you. They might have even blocked you. No contact, no communication here. I feel like your person needs more than physical space i feel like they need mental space to really think things through because i feel like they are the ones that are getting in their own way they're hindering their own growth here because they're afraid to face some pain or some trauma which they're buried deep inside all right guys and these are your messages thank you as always for watching and listening please share your support by liking sharing and subscribing bye for now